You are in Australia's oldest parliament. Um, Australia's heritage and history goes back tens of thousands of years with our Indigenous people, the um, Aboriginal, um, original inhabitants. But uh, modern history uh, is relatively uh, recent compared to India's. Uh, and I've had the, the privilege of, of travelling around, uh, uh, albeit 35 years ago, around uh, Rajasthan and uh, so Jaipur, Jodhpur, Udaipur, uh, Delhi, and then we went down to Agra, of course, to see the Taj Mahal. But uh, other than that, I haven't been to India for 35 years, so uh, must must go back and, in fact, plan to do so with my family at some stage. But welcome to, to Sydney, New South Wales. Uh, as I said, you're in Australia's oldest parliament. It, it originally was built, this, this wing of the parliament, um, and there's a model over there, which we'll just have a quick look at. You'll see the fr at the front there is the old part of the parliament. At the back, you'll see a higher building, and that's the back of here, which was only built in the 1970s. That's where most of, that's really where all the offices are. My office is just in here. We'll have a chance to have a look at that. Um, but all the, all the offices are in the building at the back. Uh, the front part of the building was originally one of three wings of a hospital. It was known as the Run Hospital because the hospital was built uh, from the proceeds of money contributed by people who were licensed to bring rum into the early days of the New South Wales colony. So these gentlemen had the ability to bring in rum and in, as a return they built the hospital. Three wings, this wing, the middle wing, which was burnt down and rebuilt, it's now Sydney Hospital. Uh, and then the third wing, down Macquarie Street's the Mint Building. And some of you may have seen that, but it's a, it's a nice historic building. And indeed Macquarie Street's a, a precinct which has got a lot of history, but it's also going to be enhanced in years to come. There's plans to do that. So, so we're in the old Rum Hospital. Um, the Legislative Assembly, which is here, we'll have a look at. Legislative Council on the other side of the building um, is the Upper House. There's 42 members in the Upper House, 93 in my house. It's binding. Uh, pretty much, yeah, yes, not elected position. But, uh, so here is the, and in the states they're called the governor, so governor general across Australia. The states they're called the governor, and the current governor is a lady called Margaret Beasley. On top of the visitors' Beasley. gallery, is it? So we have, indeed, we have three visitors' galleries, and we have the, the bottom one there, the top one there, and there's another over there. So at 2.15 on a sitting day, People say this is the best free entertainment in town. Oh. And, you can, and you can come and see whether or not they behave or not. Sometimes they're better than others, but we're coming up to the last two weeks of sitting. Uh, not, not this week, not next, we've just sat the last two weeks. I imagine you won't be around in two weeks time, but we'll, this time in two weeks time, we'll be sitting in the parliament again. It's the equivalent of my role um, in the lower house. The president will sit in the front chair here. Um, so that, that seat's a little less grand uh, but because it, it has to be relative to the monarchs. <laughs> well, in the bus, on the busts, we've been there for over 100 years. This latest one was only just added in the last year uh, as the first female, long overdue. Mm -hmm. oh, she was the first president, female president of the, uh, of the upper house. Do you also have joint sessions together? We do, when there's, uh, rarely, uh, rarely, but um, um, at the beginning of the parliament uh, and also when there's a replacement um, senator or legislative council office uh, uh, member who has to be um, elected. This room here is called the Jubilee Room. It's my favourite room in the Parliament. Jubilee Room was originally built as a library. The library is now down on level six, but it's now used for meetings, conference, uh, sort of seminars, education, um, committee hearings, and, and functions and the like. It's set up for a committee hearing. In fact, the budget estimates process was here yesterday. But you, when you go in, have a look up, you see the stained glass window, beautiful stained glass window. Knowledge is the mother of, of wisdom and virtue. So let's have a look at the Jubilee Room. Okay, I'm just going to pick up her phone. Go in and have a look. Do you want, I'll give you one. Yeah, it should be just in the foyer.
like 1800 I think it was um, but it was because it was remodeled um, from the original but but this space was and, and the front part of the poem goes back to 1816 a lot of the books are um, a Hansard which is the official record of what was seen in Parliament uh, these days we don't publish it if, um, in paper it just goes online I will wear a, a, a gown, but um, no speaker for at least a couple of decades has worn this, which is the old wig. Oh, so oh, it's an oh, artifact oh, now. Oh, really where that was. <laughs> Our congratulations uh -huh. to Rishi Sunak on becoming Prime Minister of England. Uh, it's historic in the sense that as he's the first person of Asian heritage to become Prime Minister in England and I think that's reflective of a more tolerant and accepting international community which is reflected in New South Wales where we have a vibrant multicultural community with many people of Indian heritage uh, and they all add to the vibrancy and richness of New South Wales. So congratulations Rishi and uh, look forward to uh, perhaps uh, some exchange between New South Wales and Australia and England in years to come uh, and uh, cooperatively working to further democracy across the world, whether it's England, Australia or India.